happy to see you thank you for joining me and i hope that your week has been a really really good week yesterday i celebrated a year of starting my journey on self-discovery and truly just healing parts within myself so it was such a great day for me because it's not often that we celebrate ourselves which is a sad thing because we need to do it often and i'm so grateful that i get to share this experience with you you know through my year of doing this i found out so many things that i love about myself that i don't love doing in life and i've seen how much i've grown in this short amount of time i said short because healing is this forever process that we go through so you know it's just really really great and you know sometimes when life is overwhelming me i think i'm not healing because i'm experiencing sadness and it makes me sad to think that because i'm experiencing this emotion i am not healing which is not the truth i have to take a step back and remind myself of the progress that I've made which I document and journal everything so I can when on these days take a step back and look at it and be like okay you know what you've actually come a long way so yes it's been a journey and it's been an amazing journey and you know it's also breaking generational curses because we come from so many things in our family that hurt us that they don't know about because they didn't know any better so breaking <clears throat> these curses ourselves actually helps us in the long run only we know what they are um our family doesn't know because obviously like i've said they wouldn't they were brought up in a specific way which they then put on us so if you're healing from that i think you need to take some time to write down and see what is it that you need to heal from from your family um talking about the sadness that i experience you know my mind likes to play tricks on me which i'm sure it does with everyone and when my mind does this it tells me that i'm not good enough and that i'm not worthy of the love that i believe that i deserve because i know i'm such a loving and giving person that i could only be able to get that in return so on these days i tend to just switch everything off take some time off and allow myself the space to feel these feelings because everyone thinks healing is so easy and it's this amazing happy go lucky rainbow journey when in actual fact it's facing what you are dealing with and sitting with it and acknowledging parts of you that needs to be worked on on a daily basis and it's facing yourself in the mirror and looking at yourself and saying this is me and i own this and i'm going to work on it because i want to be a better person and you know just holding yourself accountable is one of the biggest parts of healing because if you don't hold yourself accountable nobody else is going to do that for you it takes massive courage to hold yourself accountable when nobody's there supporting you so if you are doing that today i support you 100 percent, and i'm so proud of you for doing that because i for fact know that it's not easy and congratulations because we often don't congratulate ourselves so congratulate yourself for acknowledging these things and working on it i've recently been reading a book by bianca sparacino <clears throat> and it's called the strength in our scars it's so beautifully written that you know i just love 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 this book when i am in a in 
a sad sort of somber mood or when I just want to read and you know see what drama it is. So I'm going to read something from her book today and I hope this inspires you. Do not be ashamed of what your survival looks like. Do what you have to do. You are clawing yourself out of the ache, cutting the pain from the bone. It is never going to be pretty, but I promise it will always be worth it. That's exactly it. That is exactly what I have been dealing with on my journey. And you know, <clears throat> there are days where I feel phenomenal and I feel great and I feel like, oh, you know, life is just amazing. But there are days where it's, it's not. And that's okay. You have to remind yourself that it is okay to feel your emotions because we are not robots. And we are human beings that have these emotions. We have these feelings, so many feelings that we have to deal with. And think about a child. When you're a child, you're allowed to experience your emotions. You could sit there and cry and everything would be okay. So why not, as an adult, give, your space, give yourself space to do that? Because if you're not able to, to deal with your emotions, how are you able to to deal with life and that's the truth you have to face yourself so you can face the world that's it that's truly it okay so let's do our stress less cards gonna shuffle deck been so great i actually went and celebrated my healing yesterday with getting a new tattoo <clears throat> sorry guys i keep doing this because air is just so filthy here and wow what a great experience yesterday was because you know i literally just put myself first and i was like i'm going to do this and it didn't even take long it took like an hour and a half it was so cool the guy was really really amazing shame such a sweetheart and on my tattoo obviously it, it symbolizes everything that i have on it symbolizes my my healing journey and the progress that i've made and i only hope the same for you because you deserve it too okay i've shuffled the deck I'm going to choose a card now. Let's see. Today's card. Hug, touch, or be gentle. Hug and touch other people as often as possible. If not physically, you can be gentle to others with words and actions. Bring gentleness and concentration to your speech. Ask people how they are and listen. Ooh, important. Don't ask just to ask. Ask and listen to what they're saying. You can often hear a lot of things that people are not saying just by listening to them. And sprinkle good and encouraging words into your sentences. Always a good thing. Physical touch and touching words produce oxytocin which reduces anxiety and fear, the basic elements of stress. How great is that? Hug your mom, hug your sister, touch someone you love, hug them and encourage them. Ask them how they're doing, but listen. Truly, truly listen. <clears throat> That's all from me today. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. It was lovely chatting with you. Have an amazing week ahead. Don't forget to breathe, don't forget to encourage, don't forget to love, and don't forget to have physical touch.